swimming in beer. We're headed to the land of the dead to find out what the mummies were drinking 4,000 years ago. Once there, we meet up with Dr. Pat and Nigel Hetherington, an Egyptologist who can interpret hieroglyphs. This is the entrance to the Tomb of T. The Tomb wow. of T was discovered in 1865. T was a nobleman of the 5th Dynasty, roughly 2400 BC. He had over 100 titles, including Overseer of the Pyramids. This is T. This tomb is a sort of comic book of Egypt because the reliefs show everything that he wanted to take with him to the afterlife. These are magical reliefs. They can come alive in the afterlife. Torches on in here, and now we get right through to the storerooms. This is where we based all the interpretation of bread and beer for 200 years in ancient Egypt. For Florence and I, this is like a Rosetta Stone visit. This is like the birthplace of our vocation. This is the first depiction of the brewing process. And to see it so lovingly and carefully presented by this important person in this society feels pretty great. You know, it's saying basically what you guys do is, is important. We have two registers of brewers and then two sections of bakers. Then we finally end up with the scribes registering what's going on because you've got a, your taxation, bureaucracy, Crazy. That's the accountants. That's the accountants. 4,000 years later, and at least we know that hasn't changed. 